Hello and welcome to tutorial 10 where we're going to look at how to texture in Blender 2.82 using the EV render engine. So texturing is about applying images to objects in your scene. So first of all open Blender and make sure that the render engine is set to EV, not cycles as we're going to be using the 2.8 default render engine EV. Open the materials tab, remove the material slot and add a new one. Set the surface to glossy. Beside the color, click the circle and choose Image Texture. Find a texture on Google Images that you'll map onto the cube and save it to your desktop. In the Materials tab, click on the Image Folder icon and select the image that you downloaded. Change the viewing mode to UV Editing. In Edit Mode on the cube, select all the faces by pressing A. Click on the UV drop-down menu and choose UV Unwrap. Change the viewing mode to Look Dev, Textured, or rendered. You may need to drag the window left if you can't see the viewing mode icons. In the image window, click on the image icon and select your image if it's not already visible on the object. Press A to select all of the unwrapped UV faces if not already highlighted in yellow. Move, scale and position the box so that it covers the desired area of the UV image. You'll notice the image texture adjusting its position, rotation and scale according to what you change. Go back to default layout mode and change the 3D view to texture view or look dev. In the materials tab, change the roughness to 0.3 to reduce the shininess. You can play around with the settings to get the look that you like. Go back to object mode and add a plane as a floor and another plane as a background. Check the view in camera mode by pressing 0 and adjust the camera in fly or walk mode by pressing shift apostrophe. Or you can access fly mode from the view navigation menu. Add a new texture for the floor in the Materials tab and set it to Glossy with a roughness of 0.7. Switch to Render View. Duplicate the default light and reposition it for a good lighting effect. You can place the three lights anywhere around your object so that it looks the way you want it to. Add a new material to the background image, for example a sky, downloaded from Google as well. Repeat steps 6 to 13 to UV map the sky onto the background. In other words, change the viewing mode to UV editing, UV unwrap the image, and reposition the UV map so that it appears the way you want it to. Render your image from the Render drop-down menu. To save the image, go to Image, Save As, and save a PNG to your desktop. Next, we're going to create a simple animation of the cube, moving, rotating, and scaling up or down over time. We do this by adding a keyframe at the start and at the end, and we're going to use 75 frames for this and we'll change the end frame to 75. We'll make the start and the end frame the same so that it will loop perfectly. Then go to the middle around frame 35 and make some changes. So I'm going to move the cube up, I'm going to rotate it on the x-axis, and I'm going to scale it down a little bit. And then I press I to insert a keyframe for lock rot scale or location, rotation, and scale. And now we can see that the animation is created automatically. Add some camera movement, for example, a pan or a tilt, or you could move it closer or further away. I'm going to just move the camera up to follow the cube and then down again. So again, in frame 1, we'll insert a keyframe, and in frame 75, we'll insert another keyframe, which is the start and the end point, which are the same. Then I'll go to about frame 40 this time, so that it looks like the camera is following the movement. And I'll just move the camera up to follow the movement of the cube. And we can see that the camera movement animation is created automatically. Next we're going to render the animation, but first we need to change the render settings. So the three main things we need to change is the location, under output, the file format, and the encoding. So first of all, for location, we'll change it to our desktop. For file format, we'll change it to FFmpeg. For encoding, we'll choose H.264, and we're going to make an MPEG-4 video, or an MP4. Finally, render the animation from the Render drop-down menu. It might take a while, depending on how powerful your computer is. And finally, we can play the MP4 video and see how it turned out. So this has been a short tutorial on texturing in Blender 2.82 using the EV Render Engine.